Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I don't have a lot of time to fish this morning. I know about like an hour to an hour and a half. But we're here at the estuary and um, we're going to see if we can't catch ourselves a grunter on top water. And um, the river has come down slightly, so it might be a good thing. Um, it gives the color, the water, it gives the color, the water a lot of color. And then also, um, that I think might happen is all those resident smaller cob that is way up in the river might come down and we'll be able to catch them as well. So if the grunter is not working with us and we don't catch one, um, I think I'm going to make a throw for one of those smaller two to three kilo cob. Um, already see a grunter swirl here, so that's a good, good indication that there is some fish around and they are active. Um, tide doesn't look too bad. There is a little bit of wind chop, so it might play in our favour. A little bit late, at, um, a little bit late during the day, but still gonna have a throw. And hopefully, you can get one of those grunters. If you ever done top water fishing for grunters in an estuary, you know it can be very, very frustrating because they'll either show zero interest in a lure, or they will follow it, follow it, and gulp at it, and they don't eat it. And then other days they just inhale the thing so it can be really frustrating but i'm really excited to get a throw in it's been a really long time since i've done this um just grab my little sling bag here and two infinities infinity medium light for the cobbies and then a infinity light for the grunter i want to fish really light for them really slow and see if we can't catch one so let me put this camera down here and um start to fish okay my well, cameraman cameraman today is Mike the spike again I think that might be our angle okay okay here we go lure of choice the Rapala top water see there's two stinger hooks at the back for the grunter that gulps it in it sucks at it hopefully it sucks the hooks in and then a treble at front. Let's go. Okay, it is really key that when you fish for grunters, so every now and then pause your lure and then just watch it. Because they will often eat that lure while it's just slowly drifting in the current without you giving it any movement and then try a couple of different retrieves so just a slow retrieve some pauses in between and then also try a little bit faster sometimes they eat it on a little bit faster retrieve as well so there's definitely some fish around I've seen some boil There it is. There it is. He was there. Gulped at it. Yes, he missed that lure. It's just rolling at it when he missed it. Caught a grunter that I've seen. Well, those fish usually just tease you, but let's give it a shot. Oh, he's there, he's there. Eat it. Eat it. It'll be one of those days where you drive you insane. You see them, they boil. They don't eat. 
must be one that's willing to eat it. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Oh, ate it proper. Small fish, but it ate it. Yeah, I do think we're gonna catch one today. Looks positive. Oh, boiling at the lure, lure. That one eats it quite aggressive, so I'm sure we're gonna convince one, convince one to eat. Oh, there's another. Oh, look at that fish. Ooh. Another fish boil on me there now. Okay, I'm gonna take a little walk up the river here, or down the river actually. Um, I can see there's a little bit of color but there's, oh, <laughs> sorry I can see there's a little bit of a current running there a little bit lower down so I um, just want to see if they are more if they're not more eager to eat the lure in a little bit more current because it's ugh, muddy um, they are feeding they are here yeah. um, I just need them to feed on my lure uh, uh, hopefully a little change in um, the water body does the trick so, see this little rip or little current line running here Let's see if we can throw over that and as it passes through that current it doesn't eat see another fish boiling there Ooh, there's another one there it's all over the place to eat. Grander fishing is definitely not bad fishing. Guys. Definitely not. Okay, run about here. Okay. Tide is pushing, so I like to fish a little bit up, upstream, up with the current, and then um, let my lure naturally flow down with the current. Well, that's the idea. I get this. Come on, Mike. Mike the spike. <laughs> so muddy there. I just want to change this. minutes maybe and then come back up have to catch one guys grunter can make you feel really useless 
see them, you know they're there. You just can't catch them. Um, seen a couple of nice ones swirl. They're not tailing, but they're swirling, so that they're all feeding. Well, they had one or two chases, one or two strikes, so possibility is definitely there. I mean, the sun is coming out now. And um, it's not as overcast as it used to be. Right, um, make things a little bit more difficult. But let's go. Let's go. Move. Oof. Oof, that was a beautiful strike. Oh. Missed my lure again. <sighs> There is a small little grunter. You can see that stinger who got him. And uh, yeah, it's nothing compared to the size that I've, that I've seen. And um, grunter that has chased me straight. Um, I'm just gonna drop it in the grass here because otherwise it's gonna jab me with those spines of here. So, but what I want to say is, is this size of this fish is nothing compared to the fish that I've I've seen rolling and certainly not the size of the fish that was behind my lure a couple of times. But I had this hook out and get it back. One or two more throws and I have to go. Yes! Mm. Did you I suck? Ah! I stand and look over the tanny, that's a room in the car. Fiai! Okay, guys. If I don't want my wife to murderize me, I need to go now. So that's all time that I have for today. Unfortunately, I only had about an hour to fish. So, so 
didn't have enough time to ah, just hold on yeah didn't have enough time to catch you guys a decent grunter but um, there was a couple of opportunities and um, unfortunately oh, they didn't pay off but anyway got a small one eventually I'm sure if I had like another hour half an hour to fish a decent one would have lashed itself onto my bait but um, unfortunately for now that is it that's all that I have for you today um, ran out of time but um, we'll do this definitely again. If this is something you guys want to see, let me know. And um, if there's anything else you want to know um, regarding light tackle estuary fishing, light tackle spinning, or fishing for granters, just let me know, pop a message there down in the comment section and I'll make the video for you guys. But anyway, if you want to see more of Zelik fishing, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. See you guys next week. Take care.